Happy Vlogmas, kings and queens. So in this video today, I'm going to show you all some of my holiday pajamas that I received as a gift. Also, um, I'll show you some brand new items we got at the Dollar Tree that's good for the holidays and for your health. Also, we're going to do a very non-traditional DIY for a holiday wreath. And I'll show you where I staged it too. And why it's so non-traditional. Last, I'll show you how to send holiday cards for Christmas to save you time and frustration. Yes, frustration. So like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned. Happy Vlogmas, y'all. So since it's still the holiday season, I want to show y'all my pajamas for today. So y'all see the festive um, pants. They have the red snowflakes on them. Let me show y'all better. Okay, so my home girl had gave me these pants some years ago. And um, I haven't seen her in a while. She bought me like some festive holiday pants, the snowflake ones. And the green, I'll probably wear that in another vlog. Like it had like Christmas trees or something on there. And it is Vlogmas, so I want to show y'all that. So stay tuned. Okay, kings and queens, I want to show y'all some of the brand new stuff they have at the Dollar Tree. All right, so see these earmuffs? I already wore this one to see. It really keep your head warm. And they have it wear loops in the back behind the ears so you keep your hair all pretty and stuff. So I picked it up in black and this brick red to match my little coat shawl thing. And um, I think they had it in gray as well. Look, y'all. Dollar Tree has glue guns back in. They haven't had these in years. Now, this one is smaller than any other glue gun I've seen in any crafter stores. I love it because crafters, you know, we have an event where if y'all just trying to make DIYs or something for the holidays, you're going to take it with you in case something mess up. So I don't have to take the one that's in my house. I could just keep this in my to-go bag. So pick this up, have it handy, or if you want to do crafts with your family or kids, a dollar right now, baby. Pick this up while it's here. Y'all, they had a pH balance waters back. Haven't seen them in months. Y'all know I haven't hauled these in so long. 9.5 pH balance water. They also have these waters. They come six in a pack, so I just picked up a couple of those. Now, y'all, they had these chalkboard tag clothes pins. Let me tell you what you could do with these. The holidays coming up, everybody don't eat everything. So you could clip it to the dish so they can know what's in it in case they have food allergies. You can also just stand it up in front of it. Okay. And here's the chalk writer to write and label right on there. That way they can know what's in there. And look how cute it is. They got the square ones too if you don't want it that little fancy look. And that's just a few things I picked up. Okay, kings and queens. Um, I just want to show y'all how my wreath was last year. This is how I had it last year. The traditional colors with the poncettas and everything. Um, this year, I'm not going to have it so traditional. I'm just not feeling real traditional this year. Kings and queens. <laughs> um, but I am still going to have a wreath. But um, I'm going to switch it up. Now, if you, you all want to see like videos last year when I was real fun and festive where I had the, um, you know, the pink Santa hat, the bling Santa hat, the green Santa hat, glitz and glam. I'll link, leave that in the description box if you want more um, ideas. Or you just want to see those videos. I'll link that below. But um, this year, I'm going to use these pink bulbs. 
and I have a pink hook. I'll show you all where it is and everything. It's going to be all cool and all that. And um, let me just speed this DIY portion up for you all. Okay, kings and queens, so now it's bare. I'm going to leave some of the green popping out from the pink since my house is um, it's not like typical Christmas this year. And I got a lot of plants in the living room, so pops of that green popping out from these pink bulbs will kind of tie it in a little bit. Then you saw the table was just all glam, so that green will break up some of, some of that glam a little bit okay let me see how i'm gonna set this up let's speed this portion up as well so kings and queens i'm trying to figure out how long i need to make that hook because i wanted to have a little hang time action just a little bit at the top so it's hard to get that hang time and still have enough. So I just was playing around with it a little bit. Right here, I'm trying to figure out because this container come with about five or six different shapes. But I didn't want to use all the shapes because um, I didn't want it too busy because my table was already really busy. But I wanted that um, glitter look to coincide with the glitter look on the dining room table. So I chose to use those two patterns that you see right there. I'm only using two out of the six. Now when I get finished, y'all gonna see it's really, really different. <laughs> I really like it, but um, it's hard trying to get those things to line up. So just take your time and be patient. Kings and queens, it turned out very different from my last reef. I love it. Now this pink hook I already had, I picked up during Easter time. So I just used that. And this is how the reef turned out. This is the first time I had to buy some Christmas cards in years because I had tons of them. Um, the ones that I have left over, they will go to the new people I'm sending cards to because I didn't had them so long. I don't want to be sending the same cards over to the same people. <laughs> so since I have a few left, these are going to the new people. Now, I told you, very untraditional year. So, the cards that the people I normally send to, or last year, y'all know I haven't sent many, but previous years, in case they don't get to y'all on time on Christmas, they'll still get to y'all by New Year's. So, I got stuff that says holidays, 
Because you know you got Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, New Year's. That way if it gets to you after Christmas, it's still in time. Because it'll be to you during Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or the New Year. Oh yeah. Male people, y'all not screwing me up this year. <laughs> Thank you for watching Kings and Queens. I'm sorry, Kings and Queens. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Happy Vlogmas. I'm enjoying this Vlogmas series. Um, when you become blessed, bless somebody else, as I always say. Enjoy this beautiful life we are given. I always say that, too. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day and a great evening.